Let's get started! These are our materials. For step number one, we are going to cut the pattern that shows the head of an octopus. Snip, snip, snip! For step number two, we are going to use these three white sheets of paper. So you're going to stack them on top of each other and then we're going to fold it lengthwise just like this. It looks like a tall building. Press. Once you open it, you would see the crease. Now let's fold one more time. And then press it again at the middle. And when you open it, you would see creases. Now there's one, two, and three. Now please cut along and it will look like these. For step number three, we are going to make the tentacles of an octopus. So if you are going to put a little bit of glue at the bottom, and paste them together you would make one long tentacle so let's make four long tentacles so we already have two long tentacles and this is the third one Let's make the last one. Remember, we should only make four long tentacles. The others will be our short tentacles. There you go. We have long and short tentacles. For step four, we are going to paste all of the tentacles at the back of the head of the octopus. Everybody look carefully. This is how I'm going to paste the tentacles. But then again, remember it's still up to you. Teacher Reg will be doing the long, short, long, short pattern for the tentacles. But if you want to put all of the short tentacles together and all of the long tentacles together, it's also fine with me. So again, it's up to you. Be creative. For step 5, I prepared a tissue paper, tap water, and of course, my watercolor. So now we're going to paint. You may choose any color that you want. And ta-da! My octopus looks just like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!